Nieuwspot, die thuiste vir Afrikaanse stories achter die nieuws. If they believe reading this and all the evidence and the links to uh, the evidence that we've provided, there's, there's something here, then they will uh, uh, open a case. They'll do it through the Hawks. Um, but their investigators will now be involved with the Hawks and people will be tasked to go and corroborate this evidence, to go and subpoena people for interviews, subpoena bank records. Hopefully, they we believe they should be able to build a very strong case and lay charges against all 13 people involved, including the deputy president, hopefully. And if these charges stick, well, this is 15 years plus, uh, depending on how, how they lie and whether they run them concurrently or not. But this is a lot of jail time that is due. We didn't want to see, you know, it's like the it's like the Zonda Commission. A lot of stuff is evidenced in that commission and the police with, and the Hawks and the NPA sitting back waiting for the end of a four-year commission. They should be running concurrently with cases as they get that evidence. So what we don't want is is for the courts to wait for this the civil case of Fred Daniels is to be finalized and then go and look at it. We believe that uh, if there's enough evidence as these civil cases go along, it's important that the NPA starts acting. Now, they are so busy. They are so inundated. They are so snowed under. So this is where civil society comes in and, and, uh, and builds strong cases, provides the good evidence so that it eases their work to do to go and uh, just do the corroboration and some of the subpoenaing and vetting of the information.